Blake Martinez. NFL linebacker retires after selling rare Pokemon card for over 650k. Was he a starter? There's no way he was a starter. He sold a 9.5 Jim Mint Pokemon Illustrator card. How the fuck did he get his hands on that? Holy shit, he has a whole career out of selling Pokemon cards. Oh, he tore an ACL in 2021. That, that is a devastating injury. There's no way he ever feels 100%. So he was looking for a way out and found it with Pokemon. How the fuck did he get his hands on this, though? This is legitimately an extremely rare card. I think he's kind of stupid for going through an auction for it. You could have absolutely sold this direct to somebody if you just listed it online. But now the auction's going to take a large piece of that. That was a silly mistake. He opens old and new packs on Instagram. It's so cute. He found this during one of his pack openings. That's impossible. This card never was in packs. How, the, how did he get it? How the fuck did he get this card? He must have bought it and resold it. There's no other way. No, like, this is just a, this is a lie. This card was legitimately never sold in a pack. The Pikachu Illustrator card was never a pack card. It was still very cool for him, though. Maybe off a storage auction? Nah, that card you had to literally write into and win in a contest. It would never have ended up in just a random storage auction. Because those are only from, like, the actual turbo nerds of Pokemon. Bought it, ungraded. Bought it, ungraded, got it graded, and resold it. That's probably what, that's probably what it was. Did you see Cristiano Ronaldo announced a Binance to NFT partnership? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. That's cute, though, I guess. I can't believe he didn't announce Paradox Metaverse. The real one this time? Probably, I guess. Binance number one crypto exchange right now, so I imagine. Wait, it's actually real? Well, I mean, of course it's real, man. If, if it's like a Binance thing with Ronaldo, I don't think they're using the same impersonator that Paradox did. Oh, I wonder if this is going to age poorly. I, I haven't seen this yet. But I love the FTX one with Larry David where Larry's like, yeah, I think I'm out. And then the whole commercial is like about how it's it's like it's free money. You're going to make so much money. You, you want to be early. Don't you want to be to the next best thing? And Larry's like, no, nah, I'm out. And the whole thing is don't be like Larry buy into FTX. And then FTX completely collapsed this week. Oh, man. And that commercial just aged beautifully. It's such a fucking banger. Let's see this one. We all have a great story to tell. God, all of these the all of these crypto commercials are always so pretentious. It's crypto. What do you mean we all have a fucking great story to tell? The only story the crypto community tells is horror stories about how much money they lose in shit coins and rug pulls. There's no great story. One that starts with a humble beginning. Where we work hard dream big and learn to believe in ourselves <clears throat> where we rise to every challenge whoa that's how we can change the game and together we can exchange the world <laughs> Holy fuck. This is where our story begins. Join me on Binance. Oh my god. To the moon. I I'm going to I'm just going to make a bold assumption. I think this was just a death sentence. 
I think given the entire history of crypto and NFTs, the second you bring in a celebrity spokesperson, it spells the end. And to the moon is always the epitaph. This just ticked all of the boxes. What was the... Atriog mentioned it, now I'm already foggy on the details. Binance also suffers from a very similar problem to FTX, right? Where it has all of, or most of the user's money wrapped up in other coins, right? I vaguely remember him talking about that. So what happened to FTX isn't impossible to happen to Binance as well. Oh, it's 40%? So 40% of it is its own token. Okay. FTX was a lot higher than that. Okay. That would be huge, though, if Binance went down as well. That article got removed. It was fake news about Binance. Wasn't it the same? What? What do you mean fake news? Wasn't that the exact same investigation that also turned up all of the accurate information for uh, FTX? Remember when some NFT bros burned a Frida Kahlo drawing so that it could live on in the blockchain? Yeah, they do that a lot. That happens all the time. That's not shocking or anything. That was very common for a while with the NFT craze. When does this Binance NFT collection launch? I want to see if anyone actually bothers. This shit always flops, even with something as big as Binance. <coughs> oh, the collection's already live. The CR7 NFT collection, baby. God, I love, I love the replies on Twitter. No matter what you click, or no matter what post you click on, if it's crypto related, this is every single fucking comment. Oh, wow. It is totally different on here. Now it's just people shitting on it. Oh, okay. When I'm logged in, every single comment is scams. Why, why am I getting scams when I'm logged in and then like normal memes when I'm logged out? What? Here, look at the difference. This is the same tweet. But it's nothing but scams. Curated for you. Yeah. We, we heard you liked... We heard you liked FTX. Here, come check all of these out. We'll put them at the top of your replies. That makes no sense. Destructo. Bold of you to scroll Twitter. I always feel so safe on a crypto tweet because it's nothing but scams. I know there's not going to be porn or anything like that. It's only scams usually in the comments. Ronaldo recently went on Piers Morgan and shit on his entire club because he wasn't playing enough. He will be fired after World Cup and possibly sued. Uh, I don't know what you're referring to with the Piers Morgan thing. I didn't see any of that, but I'm going to say he will likely not be fired or sued. He's way too big. Now everyone's saying he will. How bad was it? What the fuck did he say? Wait, what? How hard did he shit on Man U? Damn, he must have went in on it. What the fuck? Jesus. Uh, I'm not like a huge soccer guy. I'm sure most of you know that, but... Even I'm quite familiar with Man U. That is bold to just go out there and start shitting on them for him not playing enough. He's getting old, too. It's nothing that other players haven't said about Man U. Man U. Hey, I haven't seen it. I couldn't tell you, but the way chat's reacting to it makes it sound like it must have been pretty big. <laughs> he called someone ugly. <laughs> That's fucking hype. <laughs> what was the What was the section on? I think Piers Morgan's a fucking idiot. He's, like, I, somehow for some reason he keeps landing, like, actual fire interviews where people just embarrass themselves. I don't get it. But I think he's a fucking insufferable idiot to listen to, like a legitimately dumb moron. But for some reason people go on there and absolutely embarrass themselves. I don't think he even edits the interview. What are you talking about? Editing and framing. I, I don't think they're even edited unless you're just seeing highlights. Aren't they done live? Because I saw one of his live interviews. Because he embarrassed himself, like, dreadfully against one of his guests, he was, like, asking her math questions and got everything wrong. He asked her, what, like, what's the square root of Pythagorean theorem? She's like, what the fuck? He's like, it's 3.14. <laughs> like, he just constantly embarrasses himself on there. 
Show us that clip. Yeah, here. It went viral a while back. Why is this five minutes? I just want to see. The, uh, here it is. Is he? Is he? I mean, how come everyone's attracted to them? Yeah, definitely. So just avoid. History of time by Professor Stephen Hawking. Oh, wait. A brief history of time. It's a history. It's a study into black holes. Um, no, Stephen I'm not Hawking. interested in no. that. Sorry. Do you know Pythagoras' theorem to the nearest five no. decimal places? Do you? What's your favourite colour? Do you? <laughs> Colour. Do you know um, the, the Pythagoras theorem to the nearest actually, five yeah. decimal places? Point one four seven is certainly the first. <laughs> <three>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he like always embarrasses himself on this show. He's just, he's like actually just fucking dumb, like observably stupid. Look up Ronaldo's statue. They did him so dirty. Wow. Holy fuck. That looks awesome. <laughs> 